What? You want to know how to read maps like a pro? Hey guys, welcome to another guide and today we'll be talking about how to read maps like a pro. And let's get right into it. So what is map reading anyways? It's really understanding surrounding terrain, where your enemies are located, and this, this pretty much can tell you enemy's weakness as well as your own team's weakness. And why is this so important? Um, knowing this can help you move strategically and obviously your brawlers can get to places without getting damaged. And knowing everything that's going on in the map can really prevent enemies attack by positioning yourself in certain areas and also take a chance to attack enemies beacon. And the most important question to answer is basically how to do this. Let's just break it down into simple steps. Knowing different maps and different terrain, it just comes naturally with playing more games. Once you've got used to certain maps, my step number one here is gather information. You need to understand enemy's weapon range, enemy's location, and your own teammate's location. Step number two here is observe enemy's movement. Think about their route. By observing enemy's movement, you will be able to see a pattern and understand what they really want to accomplish. By thinking about that, you can really understand their route. By understanding all these premises, uh, number three is positioning yourself and always move with the purpose. After all, we read maps to get to certain places and by positioning yourself, you can execute your own mission. Now, let's watch some examples here. Uh, the first footage is on Yamantau. So it's a long map and on the left, um, I saw range robots and on the right, I saw brawlers. So understanding what's on the left and what's on the right, the most important task in this map is defending the center. So enemies are most likely to contest for the center beacon through the right and the center and observing their movements with um, all the information such as their weapon range and this way of reading map I was able to position myself to be able to defend the center beacon. Next clip, uh, game modes like Beacon Rush and Team Deathmatch, you can really utilize the minimap here and really take in all the information you can. Um, this will help you in map reading and you can basically watch enemies position, observe their movement and really understand what they are trying to do. Understanding this, you can strategically position yourself in this minimap here on the left. The long range guys tend to stay on the left and on the right depending on what bot it is it can get really close in this case in this case i was able to spot this phantom moving closer to my teammates and i was able to sneak up behind and protect my teammates And last but not least, you need to analyze and understand uh, certain maps in the beginning of the game because not all maps are symmetrical, meaning certain beacons can be extremely difficult to overtake. And it can be a little bit more extreme uh, in game modes like Beacon Rush. And all my teammates decided to go to the left. Now this beacon on the right is extremely difficult to overtake. So even if it meant that I lose this robot, um, I tried my best to get to this beacon before enemies did. Enemies movement definitely matter in this case, but the terrain of the map, understanding the terrain of the map and location of the beacon is really crucial for this example. Thank you guys for watching this video and definitely check out my own YouTube channel as well. And what would you guys like to see next? Leave it down in the comments below and see you on the next video guys.